The River Barrow forms the western boundary of the county and is a major part of Ireland's inland waterways network. The Barrow Way makes it possible to walk or cycle nearly 75 miles along the riverbanks. We continue our tour down the River Barrow to Gregnamana, which many call Ireland's most charming village. I see where they're coming from, but let's face it, there's a lot of competition. So, aside from the river supplying the charm, it's also been supplying the power for industry right here for centuries. There's been a mill in operation here for about 800 years. The Cushion family have been running the place for 300 years. This machine alone has been running non-stop for 140 years. It's the legacy that makes Cushendale so very special. Miriam, the one thing that I notice, aside from when you walk in the door, at the colour slaps you in the face, which I love. It's, it's everything that, that your brand is. It's all about those vibrant colours, but yet they're the vibrant colours of Ireland. Is that an intentional or is it just, is it all around you? I think it's just all around us. Like, and what's actually the really key part of our colour is the, the water that we use here. So again, Monks channeled a mill race in 1204. It's been running for 800 years and we use that water still today for all of our colour. Um, but yeah, we're very inspired. You know, like, where do we get our colours? We're very inspired by what's around us. Okay, so we talked about the colour. Now talk about the wool. Yeah, so like our wool, this is actually beautiful Irish wool. So our Irish wool, um, you know, there's, we're the, one of the last mills in Ireland still working with fleece, collecting it directly from the farmer. Uh, I only spoke to one of them this morning. He's getting his sheep shorn this morning. And then we will travel to his farm. We will collect the fleece, bring it here to the mill. It's from a particular breed of sheep. It's very special to us. The farmers are very special to us as well. We've got lovely relationships with them. Mr. Cushion, really, the place is steeped in history, but I see your design as being super modern and looking to the future. It's kind of sexy and cool. Well, yeah. How does that yeah. feel? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't describe myself as sexy and cool, but uh, <laughs> anyway, the uh, no, no, you have to, you have to keep uh, reinventing the, the, the your patterns and every year bringing new, constantly renew and constantly. It's. It's something if you're not doing it, you're, you're going to be, if you're not dead the first year, you will be dead the second or third. And because I, I, finally, you can get Cushendale all across America now. Yeah, I mean, right? you get a fair bit of it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's, you know, you like to do something that's worthwhile. You know, right. at the end of the day, we'll say, well, I made that. I'm not ashamed to say I made it. So we're at the end of the journey here. How long does it take from sheep to the shelf? So, well, it's hard to quantify in time, but oh. the number of steps, it's about 30 different stages. Oh, so from right. when we collect the fleece, which we'll start doing now in July, August time, directly from the farmers, um, and then working with the fleece through. So I suppose if you were to take a blanket from fleece right through, you're talking a number of months. It's funny, when people come into my house, uh, I have Cushendale on the couch, and it does make a story happen because you automatically want to tell people where it came from and they want to find out about Greg Namana and yeah. then they hear about 300 years of history and further back with the monks. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and that's it. There's a lot of word of mouth, I suppose. Where, and we get lots of people who maybe visit us here at the mill and then they're buying online for some of their family or they send relatives here. So we got lots of, lots of, uh, lots of organic, I suppose, interest then because I suppose a good story always travels well. Mm -hmm.